We have 151 animals in house, and that's a lot of animals. That's more animals than we've ever had in 42 years of, of being this facility. We're at capacity. There, there's no other way to, to say it. We, we, we can't fit any more animals in here. <laughs> I started here in February, and um, you know everybody thought it was going to be a normal year, and all of a sudden we got a big influx of, of California sea lions, uh, six to eight month old sea lions. This time last year, there were 25 animals that we saw for the whole first five months of the year. This year we've seen 320. Keith Matassa is the executive director of the Pacific Marine Mammal Center in Laguna Beach, California, where an epidemic of starvation among baby sea lions has taxed facilities like this one to the breaking point you could equate it to a war zone. We would start coming in at six o'clock in the morning, the phone would start ringing at about 6.30. We would have hundreds of rescue calls a day. We were putting two trucks on the road to go rescue these animals or look at them. To be honest, it was insane. I mean, we've never had to deal with 100 tube feedings three times a day. So that's restraining and tube feeding animals 300 times a day. You can see his shoulder blades right there. That's his shoulder blade, that's his right shoulder blade. And you shouldn't see that? No. According to wildlife officials, since January, a record 1,300 strandings have taken place along the coastline from Santa Barbara to San Diego. While the strandings have slowed in recent weeks, the center has its hands full trying to rehabilitate hundreds of animals. Scientists are puzzled by what's happening. That's what we're trying to figure out is why. You know, what's, what's going on? Where, where are the fish? Where did they go? Uh, was there a little, like a li little mini El Nino or did something happen with the currents that the fish decided to go? deeper or further out. They're not closing the book on any theory. Three rehabilitation centers, including this one, are dealing with the epidemic. Here, of the 320 sea lions that have been brought in, 120 have died. And the center is struggling to fatten up the rest so they can be released. It's a lot of fish. We'll be up to 800 to 1,000 pounds um, a day when everybody in there starts eating. We're not seeing any other species of animals coming in starving. We're not seeing any other species of seals coming in starving or any other age classes. So it's, it's particular to this age class. And again, it seems to be around the weaning and transition period between weaning from their mom and learning how to hunt. But there is hope. In an adjacent pen, sea lions who have been kept nourished here for the last two months are showing remarkable signs of recovery. You know how people say you can see light at the end of the tunnel? Well, we're seeing the, the little blink of a light at the end of the tunnel. It's pretty amazing to see them go through the transformation. I've been on quite a few rescues and seeing them grow up to where they're in the bigger pools and then getting released is really amazing. We're, we're making them fat, we're making them healthy, and they'll be able to go out and forage and find food. Since January, the center has fed and released 52 animals back into the sea. We're giving them the second chance to get back out there, and that's the mission of the Pacific Marine Mammal Center. This is Eric Olson for the New York Times in Laguna Beach, California.